Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Equestria War, playing as Equestria. So, uh, I want to just address a few comments first before we really get too far. Yes, we do have Princess Luna here, I'm going to put her on her Special Forces army. It's interesting that she has Warrior Princess, more division recovery rate, and Owen combat with minus 10%. Now, does that mean the divisions get 10% less? Hmm, perhaps not. But, uh, I want to address the comments as best as I can. We're probably going to go with more attack for her. And then Prince Blue Blood. I'm going to go with Unyielding Defender because defense is pretty good. Even though I like that one, we don't have Brilliant Strategist. No, actually, I'll probably go with Defensive Doctrine. I'm going to make him really defensive in this game. Cool. Uh, yeah, so our focus is. So, in general, the comments either revolved around me going Urgent War Committee, which I'm going to do, Race Tax, and I guess, you know, I guess I really didn't do very historical things, such as allowing Olenia to get completely taken out. You know, things happen, you know, whatever. And apparently, the Crystal Empire is still with us, but let's see. They're not my puppet anymore. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. But let's go ahead and do Urgent War Committee. We must assemble the War Ministers and Advisors for quick coordination in this dire situation. Speed is of the utmost importance. The Princess has declared this to be a national emergency. Get political power, unlocks Princess's speech, and I will remember. Race tax. Grand Assault. Wow, that takes forever to do. But we do have five research slots, so as soon as we're done with this thing, we will go with race tax. Now, they don't pay me my licenses in a week. We're going to tell them no more. We're going to tell them, nope, no more. Cool. Oh, we got quite a bit of political power as well. One a day is always nice. Going gearing for war. Uh, consider introducing conscription. Huh. Interesting. Not even immortal alicorns are safe from the burdens of war. No, they're not. Well, go gearing for war. The question economy has great potential. However, right now it is focused on providing goods and services for the ponies, as it has for decades. That being said, it might be prudent to start focusing on defense and heavy industries to safeguard our nation in a changing world. Or in a changeling world. Ooh. Cool. So, let's go ahead and do that. Equestrian Economy has, been, has great potential, however, right now, it is focused on providing goods, which I've already read all this already. There's no reason to interfere. We shall prepare for economic mobilization, and then consider introducing conscription. So, since Equestria has not been touched by war in centuries, drafting ponies into military was never necessary. However, with growing threat on horizon, some politicians have proposed to institute a draft to better prepare our country for the coming storm. Peace will prevail. A limited draft shall suffice. What are we currently on? Uh, volunteer only. We have to be prepared for anything. Institute extensive conscription. Oh, good God. But that does give us some free 10% war support, which we could really, really use. We lose a ton of political power, but you know what? That's worth it right now. Um, all right, are you not gonna give me my factories? I gave you over a week. I don't care if you can't accept that or not. Like, either you pay me or we ain't going to give you stuffs. Now, unfortunately, we have no political power, but we get 300 political power right there. So, Griffiths, 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 my apologies. Griffinstonian bomber competition, which it's just like the Yugoslavian one in vanilla. Nice pony plane right there. Absolutely. Well, hopefully this will work. People don't pay me my goods. We've got ways of making people talk. Good, and once we're done making those factories, we're gonna build some encounter lots right there. Uh, I could build them over here as well. I really don't wanna build them over here, just because I wanna save those for naval dockyards in the future, but they're still very, very important to use. We're definitely getting some more pony power. We're getting more divisions. We're getting... Mm, we really don't need that many more Coast Guards. Put you on low. Awesome. Got a little bit more pony power. That's awesome. 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 Royal Guards looking pretty awesome, but... Armored Royal Guards are where it's at. So, the formation of the Urgent War Committee. With the dotted line report being dust off now and urgently being read and studied with intentions rising both at home and abroad... Princess Celestia has ordered the formation of a committee to prepare for the storm ahead. While it is by no means certain that something will ever come of it, the cabinet and several other prominent ponies with roles to play in an hypothetical war have secretly been recalled to Canterlot in order to drop plans. Time, of, time is of the essence, as the war has been judged to be near forthcoming, and if the predictions in the dotted line report are to be avoided, that Equestria must truly take radical and controversial measures to survive the storm ahead. Three separate lines of development are to be taken to reform the bureaucracy and political system, to renovate the military, and to reach out to form a broad coalition of ponies and creatures, whatever creed they may subscribe to. Great, great progress. We can probably get rid of this. We have the garrison regiments, which are looking... Are we still using those? Hmm. 
not there. You guys are not even that. You guys are just a combat width. Oh, you are garrisoned because you're guarding the coast. Okay, my bad. Anyways, mm, new generals would be very good. Air combat techniques. Strike back, which looks pretty good. Queen of the Battlefield, Daybreak Project, Macintosh Concern, New High Command, Extreme Measures. I think that is probably the best thing we could do. So, it has been a long time coming, or a long time, since there has been innovations in the Equestrian Military. Today, our High Command is practically absent, and we need new ponies prepared to step up and wage a newer and more modern war. Still waiting for this stuff, eventually. Good. Do we have any other decisions to take? Toll of Wars, feeling worried that the ponies and the military believe in friendship and harmony. Well, that's nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a partial mobilization. That might be worth it. Even though it might be good to go with the military theorist. Let's go ahead and do that for now. I still want to get as much army XP gain as possible for now. That'll be nice. We still get one at 1.03 day. I am not forgetting. Race text. Race, race, race. As I said before in another playthrough, once I just say race, 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 tax, it makes me think of something else. But Earth Pony Agriculture is very, very important for more monthly population. Hmm. And oil processing will be very nice as well. We definitely need more divisions. Oh, more war. What else is new? Good. It's 10-10. That's all done. We could probably focus on tanks, but right now... Unicorns, Mage Companies. Hmm. If I use a Mage Company, should I go down? Magical Supremacy... Magical Harmony. Oh, I like the Breakthrough. Trickle back. Piercing is always nice. Br oh, 200% Breakthrough. That's 100%. Res Reconnaissance. Initiative. Organization. Air Attack. Armor. Br oh, more Breakthrough and Soft Attack. Defense and Soft Attack. Oh, I'm probably... Oh, I like the Supremacy. I like... Hmm. Is that technically... That's like that, No, that's just Magical Infantry. That's not Racial Supremacy. Uh, Pegasi. That, that's good. But do we have anything else that we need to do first? Yeah, we're doing better on artillery. We probably need to get better guns first. That's kind of important. Cool. So, I'm expecting an impending war to happen very soon. Keep mobilizing, keep mobilizing. More soldiers, more soldiers. Put you at the front. You're 20 combat with you. Have, with engineers, that's not bad. What is our supply like? We need artillery. We need a lot, lot more artillery. We're good on motorized. We're actually very good on support equipment as well. Uh, that being said, I'm motorized, I say. Light tanks aren't bad. Oh, they are really killing each other off. 24 tanks, that's a bit too much. Motorized would take 20 per division, support equipment, infantry equipment, and pony power. And that gives us one and a half recon, while recon itself just gives us one. 40 and 10. 40, 10, 20. It lowers our organization. Each one will lower our organization. This does give us more defense. That's kind of nice. Hmm. Suppose we could try that. And more red? No, we actually have enough to be okay with that. That's actually pretty good. Awesome. Can I throw in one more eventually? Uh, artillery would be good, but we don't have any more. We'll throw in artillery a little later. Garrisons will be fine for now. We don't need to increase them at all. New High Command. So, the World Council of Equestria has, over the many past years, been starved and gutted of funding and aid from the Crown due to the peaceful era that Equestria has experienced. But, 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 storm clouds have been gathering over the last five years and we can no longer afford to ignore the defense of the realm. The World Council has been expanded with several new ponies with relevant experience which shall serve as some of the top advisors to Celestia. For the time being, of course. While some protests have been recorded amongst the established hierarchy as usurping the traditional levers of power, in public all agree that it has been a necessary step if Equestria is to survive the storm ahead. Several high-ranking military officers have been slated to join the council in the near future, should the crown call upon them. Fight we must. Followed with... Extreme measures. Our dark times call for extreme measures. The state we had prior to war will lead us to defeat. Bureaucracy, corruption, laziness, self-interest, this all must be eradicated in every facet of the state. Equestria shall not fall, it will live on, slowly recovering... Stagnation by harmony. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We lose just a little bit of stability, but oh, buddy boy. That it looks in... Mm, wartime Press Act? Mm, I love censorship. And right now, we are producing many military factories. Good. They've capitulated. Hmm. What do we need? We need artillery. So why do 
What have I been doing? Why are you at the bottom? You have to be like that, because I need even more artillery to put them on support companies. Now, that makes sense. Maybe we'll use some motorized rocket artillery. No, we don't have on those guys. Motorized rocket artillery, perhaps? Motorized rocket artillery. That gives us 50 more soft attack compared to this, which gives us 25. Hmm, maybe I should use that instead of normal artillery. Perhaps. Specialized training. Special training. Entrenchment speed. I mean, that's not max entrenchment. That's just entrenchment speed, which isn't bad. I could get better tanks. Get some better engineers for now, because we could really use that. Extreme measures. Very good, very good. Right now, we're going to lose 1.8% stability. So we'll just... That's not really that much. It's almost nothing. Which is fine with me. Keep building, keep building. Peace conference. There's a lot of war going on over there. Also, maybe we should stop training our guys. Oh, look. That's really cool. Really cool. I'm not going to put these in just yet. Uh, the screen amount isn't very good compared to everything else. So you guys, stop training and go home. So, with the reforms and renovations of the political system, we are receiving reports of that the conversion of the economy to a war-ready footing is making good progress. Wide-ranging changes are taking place at Equestria with older methods and practices being phased out in favor of newer, more effective methods of work. The bureaucracy, too, is changing at a hasty pace, with legions of newly minted clerks delivering an effective and centralized governance from Cantalot. Even then, large amounts of institutional resistance to the reforms and the new systems remain within both the civil service as well as amongst private sectors. We can do it. That's kind of adorable, I'm not going to lie. Now, that's good news. That is some great news. Put down the magic of friendship. Times are changing. Renovate the political system. Sounds pretty good to me. So, for the longest time, which is a, Jill, which is a Billy Joel song, uh, the practice of harmony within our land has brought us peace and prosperity. It has, however, failed us and has allowed for war to come to our very doorstep. If we wish to survive the struggle, we must restructure our decentralized and democratic political system into something more... pragmatic. Nice. Yeah, maybe now we can start stockpiling stuff up. Wartime press. Freedom of press is a founding block of equestrian society, but as some nobles and politicians have suggested, in desperate times like these, it might be wise to impose limitations on speech that will help the war effort. We can deny our citizens basic freedom even in war. Slight censorship will get the job done. No more, they will write what I tell them to write. Propaganda. War support. Daily fascism support. That seems like if we really want to become, was it, the Solar Empire or something? That we want to do that? That sounds like fun, but that's not what we're going to do in this campaign. Next time, maybe. Uh, maybe some slight censorship? Sure, why not? That sounds like fun. Oh, look at that. Now, I could build more military factories up, or I could build some more civilian factories, too. Probably a bad idea. But we'll do it anyways. 40%. Uh, I don't like 40%. I prefer 50%. There you go. Not bad. Artillery upgrade? Let's get even more artillery. They definitely have a lot of guys on the border. Wait, why are you not moving? Hold on. There you go. Yeah, after seeing this, this is really not good for us. Hmm. I'm glad we got forts, and we're kind of over a river to a degree, but, uh... Oh, good. A division. How about 20? 20 more divisions. Uh, toll of war. Stop trading with Skyfall. Renovate the political system. Good. Awesome. Let's go and go to partial mobilization. Even more factories. Good. Earth Pony Agriculture sounds amazing. Earth Pony Sappers. More entrenchment for engineers. Oh my goodness. Ma magic of industry. Yes, please. Oh, artillery, we don't need you so badly. Yeah, motorized rocket artillery. Huh. Twenty comet width, inf. Motorized. Nice. What if we changed it up? We remove this. Huh. Mobile groups. We need more. XP to do that. But we get 
way more artillery. A soft attack. That sounds like fun. I never do that. We should try that. Now, not all divisions are going to be made like that, but... That sounds a little bit like fun. It's good to have fun when you play games. But, you know what? Sometimes you can't have fun when you're at war. Let's hope you... Well, how is this other side doing? Well, the Griffonian Empire is looking pretty good. The Kelian Federated Republic is looking pretty good as well. Uh, ooh. Well, when is the Entente going to spawn? Hmm. Stalingrad, Crystal Empire. Actually, we're defending their borders too. Yeah, we are. Kind of. With the limited resources that we have. I might grab another general then. 25. It's only 25, but Bar Cloud Snowflake will. Oh, you're politically connected, which is something I really don't like. Oh, what's going on over here? Skyfall, Republic, Hawk Clan. That's cool. Ah, good. Uh, I'm not sure if these guys would go to war with us, the United Dragon Isles, but I'm going to keep you guys over here just in case. We probably need to be over there, to be honest with you. Nice, we're almost there. Like city, people are dying over there, dying everywhere, so be it. Remove. Mobile. Remove. Okay. Renovate political system. The second set of reforms pushed through has changed equestria for good. The reforms eradicating bloat where it can be found and establishing several new departments for the purpose of reorganizing equestria into a modern state with a modern state apparatus rather than a modern state with an obsolete bureaucracy. The factories that are reporting even higher production numbers, the crown ever ever higher tax income. Indeed, Equestria is about to finally jump into the new era of governance. No longer is it a loose grip group of advisors that advise the crown, but rather a set of cabinet that are appointed by the monarchs with specific portfolios. Yes. Ooh, limestones. Nice. Put down the magic of friendship for the longest time. Peace and friendly cooperation with each other has solved almost any problem ponies have come across. Those times are over, but we must prepare our citizens for the harsh reality, where we tried all that we could to resolve the situation peacefully, but to no avail. For the longest time. For the longest time. I thought I already said that. Cool. Guns? Guns with... Ponies with guns? Luna Nova sounds great, but we need to do this real quick. Even more soft attack. Improve the artillery and bolt-action rifles. Go ahead and do that, since we've got a little surplus right now. Martial law. So we are in a state of war, declared or not. Peacetime laws while preserving the liberties of ponies are becoming a hindrance in those desperate in these desperate times. Will due process be another victim of the changing world? We are a harmonic society, war or not. Martial law has to be instituted. Ooh, that looks like fun. Prince Blue Blood becomes a person here. Defend a question laws have to be changed. Militarized law. Daily fascism support. Nah, I'm good, man. I'll have martial law for now. Uh, even though I may or may not agree with that in real life, it is a necessary evil in the game. Very, very, very necessary, my friends. Uh, that looks good enough for now. We can do some more of this, use some more of that. How is this coming along? We're doing very well. Once we're done with that, we're going to start doing that there, and then we're going to start building up that to that, to that, and then build up I, probably some more infrastructure, to be honest with you, because that's probably going to be very, very... Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Someone save me. Uh, let's see. Good. Oh, no, 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 no. Unknown focus? Well... Oh god, which one is it? This looks like an... I love the artwork of this. This looks really amazing. Huh. Top shift doctrine. Unite the nation, of course. Hive trains. Well, I'm not sure how long it's going to take them to go to war with me, so go ahead and just say they're changing equestrian border. Looking far beyond recently crossed millennium borders. Oh, well, dig in. You better all dig in. Uh, is there anything I could do to help them out? Well, it's only 46 divisions here, which is basically nothing. I'm popping them out early. I need divisions across the entire front. And actually, I don't need to probably buy more generals. We can get more generals right here. New generals. Takes two weeks. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to go to war with me, but we'll see what happens. We must be ready. So, the times are changing. Since time's immemorial, 
Ponies have been a peaceful race, with the magic of friendship is able to solve all problems that might have been that might have befallen them. Unfortunately, it seems that this world is coming to an end. Can magic of friendship still survive when Equestria is under attack? After war, we will go back to our peaceful ways. The times have changed, but we must adapt. Magic of friendship. Um, that hurts our war support quite a bit, and military factory construction speed. I need to do everything to keep my pony safe, whether I like it or not. Wow. That looks wild. Daily fascism support. Times have changed. We must adapt. Good. I'll, oh, good. Let's get some more entrenchment. Recon would be very good as well. It's 10-11, though, so let's get some more research speed. And never forget the race tax. All right. War plan. Oh, that looks really good. Eradicate bureaucracy. Stagnation of harmony. I need generals, so Equestria is always a peaceful nation, but current circumstances require us to bring new generals into the fold. Our armies won't lead themselves after all. Some of the candidates have questionable backgrounds, but none can deny their talent. Absolutely. And we get more war support, which will help our attack and defense on core territory, which will be very good. Uh, how are these guys looking? I don't want to do this, but I'm going to pop them out again. They're inex completely inexperienced. But I need divisions now in the field. Wait. Why is this completely abandoned? Please get to every single spot here. Oh god, oh god. Alright, I might save this for war economy. Do I get... Ooh, more entrenchment speed, division speed, offense. Oh my goodness, that's not what I want. Defense, division defense. Infantry attack and defense, which is something I'd probably choose over Maud Pie. Limestone Pie, hmm. I'm gonna get some pie. Give me that pie. Okay, new generals. Good, good. Air combat tactics. We need to get eradicate the bureaucracy. Stagnation of harmony. Which is hurting us, but it could be much worse. War plan. We need to conscript more ponies, build more factories, produce more equipment in order to fuel our ever growing war machine. Let us finally address these concerns. Several plans have been drafted to best uh, to best address this. We only need to Im implement one. Political power? Factories. And address with 1D. Hmm. New generals in the military staff will all may... We may believe in peace, friendship, and harmony, but... We must recognize that we cannot ignore the military. Our ideals must be fought for. Indeed, if we want to live peacefully, we must be ready to defend that peace. The dotted line report made very clear to us of that notion. But in this world, our current officer corps is not sufficient. We find ourselves in a situation where we need to fight for our ideals. Fight for harmony. We must be ready to meet that challenge. While we may have ponies like... Prince Blue Blood or our rising star, Soren, we must expand. While it may have been a strange measure, several of the elements of Harmony, their friends and several other ponies have been reckoned to be prospective general officers and stand ready to serve their homeland in this time of need. Holy crud. I did not realize we get that many generals. I mean I need I need quite a few, but oh my gosh. Oh Panzer Leader, Attack, Kleptomaniac, I like that. Thunderbolt Sentinel. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. I love Thunderbolt. Let's see, and I also want Pink Amina Diana Pie. Holy crud. That looks pretty good. More max entrenchment. Swiftwing. Orion Star. Bernard Hoof Gonnery. August von Eisenstadt. Ooh, Reconnaissance, that's pretty good. Applejack, Commando. Best Defense. Wait, Best Defense, but it gets bonuses to attack? Surprise? Big Macintosh. I like that. Uh, oh, wow. Five. Oh, Schneikers. Brayburn. She sounds familiar. He sounds familiar. Out of supply. Prince Fallen. Ooh. Oh. Fallen Struggle. What is that? Sunrise Moonshadow. That looks awesome. But I'm going to go with the person with five defense. Heck yeah. So you are Pegasi. Pegasuses. And you shall do. I'm going to give you Applejack. And you'll be the tank person. So I don't know exactly where we're going to send these people, but we definitely need a good defense here. I'm going to assume that we're going to get hit pretty hard around this little area. Earth Pony Sappers. Good. And I'm going to grab Construction and Factory Uplet. Up I think that's probably the most important thing to do. Oh my god, we need so much artillery. And guns now. Oh no. You better build more military factories. Holy crud. Hmm, this radar... Radar might be worth it, actually. Just so that we can see how many divisions they have. That'll help our soldiers 
uh, fight better. We do have forts around here, which is really good. Level 2 forts. But that's only the front line, so once we lose a tile, it's not going to be good. We're dug in, which is very nice. You guys are looking okay. The defense is pretty nice. We need more artillery so badly, though. Oh, we need more guns, too. That's really not good to have. You know what? For now, do that. I'm not going to lower my tactical bombers. I don't want to lower my tanks or my fighters. Yeah, that's pretty much all we got right now. They're still justifying. I'll put you at the bottom. Build more military factories. Because we're already, we are already building another civilian factory. Alright, we get... Wow! Two a day. Holy cow. Toll of war. Region-wide integration. Alright. Any second. Any second now, they're going to go to war with us. And we're going to get more political power. And factories, which would be great. Support weapons too, great. We're going to get even more defense and breakthrough for infantry and stuff like that. Yeah, defense and breakthrough for infantry, good. Oh boy, oh boy, I hope I can hold out in certain areas. Some of these locations are going to get hit hard. I'd love to train them, but it is what it is. Prince Blue Blood should do okay. Especially if I can maybe attack in certain locations with Princess Luna. Hopefully. Good, war plan. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ooh, magical nuclear weapons. Oh, heck yeah. Fallback line, we might need that. Despite our previous efforts to fortify the changing border, many within our military staff have expressed concern still. We shall erect a fallback line not far from the border across the length of the next largest river. So we'll do that one, and then we'll go back and eradicate the bureaucracy. That's probably the best thing we could do. I'd love to do a war economy, but we're not at war yet. Uh, let's see. I already checked, there's really no defense. There's more attack. If division defense might be really good to do for now. Yeah, let's go do that. Give me as much defense as possible for right now. Enact war plan. Oh, okay, so instead of 150 political power, just spending it there, just do the decision for 100. That's very nice. Thank you, game. Thank you. Griffonian Empire declared war on the Greifen Martian Soviet Socialist Republic. I don't know why I said it like that, but that sounds like a lot more fun. All right, so let's get rid of that. Remove that. Wait, why can't... Oh! Uh, go ahead and save that for now, whatever. Um, call me in, call me in. There we go. The war has started, my friends. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Do we have any more here? Not really. We're holding out in some places, some places not so much. Uh, you guys are going to come right there. Some places we're definitely not doing very well. You guys go come right there, you guys come right there. Uh, yes. And if that's a case, I need you all right here. Alright, so they're attacking on the line. This little location here is not doing very well. So be it. Um, yeah, that's not good. They're attacking over here as well, even against my tanks, which are not doing great. Hmm. Immediately deploy more soldiers. I'd rather have infantry in the field than not. <clears throat> so far, we're doing okay-ish. We're doing better than I th kind of thought. They've lost a lot. We've lost a lot, so... It is what it is. Uh, sure, why not? Now they're slowly beating us back. Acreage has fallen to the enemy. That is not good. Hold. Do not attack. Do not attack. For the love of God, do not attack. Their tanks are pretty mighty mighty. What happens if we attack here? Nah, it's not going to work. Cool, and let's go ahead and do Princess's Speech. Enact War Plan, that'd be good. War Plan! It's make may lead to considerable hardships for our ponies. Uh, where was that? Young, old, colt, mare. All shall fight, either on the front or at home. More fascism? Nah, we good. War Plan, more population. Well, what's this one? The plan, plan doesn't need to be as demanding. War Plan, less consumer goods, less weekly stability. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Well, that's weekly stability. Oh, no, 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 no. 3% population. Or this is 5%. Hmm. The plan doesn't need to be as demanding. So be it. We'll do it like that. Princess's speech. So, in this grave hour, perhaps the most faithful in our history, or fateful. I send to every household of my ponies, both at home and overseas, this message, spoken with the same depth of feeling for each one of you, as if I were to cross your threshold and speak to you myself. For the first time in centuries, we are at war. Over and over again, we have tried to find a peaceful way out of the differences between ourselves and those who are now our enemies, but it has been vain. Of course, in a conflict we have not wanted, I, as a princess of Equestria, will do everything in my power to protect my little ponies. Uh, Queen Chrysalis will be met with fire and fury like the world has ever seen. I'm going to go with the middle one. I've been choosing the middle one quite a bit, so I like that one. So obviously, we're not winning in every state. Actually, we're losing quite a bit. And casualties has been pretty equal on both sides, which is a little not good. And they're attacking with overwhelming, you know, might in a lot of places, which is really not good for us. New ma main explosion. Oh, no, that's not good. Send our condolences. If I have to, I will begin building up... Uh, Another fallback line. Uh, just like that, 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 that. Right about there. There you go. And I still want to keep building up military factories no matter what happens. Yes, that'd be good. And yeah, both that and that are pretty important. Magic of industry, good. Oh, we get both. Also nice. Bad weather penalty. Sure, why not? Ooh, better infantry equipment. Two, good. It's a little ahead of time. Hmm. Infantry. Better recon. Be a real shame. If these guys couldn't do anything. Oh well, too bad. Oh well. Prince of Strike is done. Good. Fallback line. Good. Eradicate the bureaucracy now. Our bloated bureaucratic system is simply not suited for war. We must streamline it and make it much easier and quicker for us to implement changes and decisions. It is regrettable, but the war won't be won on triplicate paperwork. No, it will not. Even though we're kind of losing, we're still not doing too badly. Wow, they are smashing some of our guys to death. Grand Assault. Finally, we have that done. Uh, I'm going to go with Infiltration. Leg Infantry... Less supply consumption, I always like. Land out attack, organization. Your recon gets more recon. Or this side, motorize, max planning, organization is again. The army gets more breakthrough. But that gets more recon for recon. And I like recon. Infantry offensives, good. Build, build, build. Alright, so they kind of stopped attacking to a degree. They definitely decided to attack other areas instead isn't good. I'm a little surprised that I've taken almost roughly the same amount of casualties that they have, but then again, a lot of our guys are not very strong. We're just longer we can wait on this stuff. And honestly, my soldiers aren't really all ready for war. A lot of them are just straight up conscripts that we just threw in the last like at the last moment. So, but they've been taking a little bit more losses than us. Not too much more. Not too much more. Let's see. They have a plenty of pony power. A lot of divisions. Tons and tons of divisions. You guys go on medium. We want to make sure our reinforcements can actually hold the line first. Uh, I definitely need to move you up. So you guys are up there. And you guys are up there. Good. Good. So how are these guys holding out? They're definitely holding out. Supply over here is quite garbage. Let's build some supply too. That'd be good. Alright, so, militarily-wise, we need more guns and artillery. Oof. That's all I gotta say, just oof. As much as I love doing this idea, come down here. Tons of guns, tons of artillery, tons of forts for now. You never know where we might get hit. Now, that secondary line, hopefully, is gonna get built soon. Ace spot promoted, very good. War bonds, honestly, right now, would be a really good wartime draft. Oh, Militia Divisions. Oh, that's cool. Hopefully we don't need to use those. I really hope we don't. 
We could go total mobilization, but that hurts our daily political power. And recruitable population. We could get more population right now, but we probably don't need it. Attack. Entrenchment speed, division speed. Air force could be good as well. What are my resources like? We're doing really well, so we don't need to lower our current resources. Uniform designer, armor. Armor you're grouping. 4% isn't that much. I would prefer war bonds. Oh, they're still trying to attack us. Oh my god, I didn't even realize this. No, I'm going to sacrifice the north. I need to get. I need to rush down here. Because this is not good. Support weapons 3, good. Mm, can't quite do that yet. Even better artillery. Full event Hoover. God dang it, they killed that division. Improved competing machine, good. Get some decryption power. Oh my god, they're just breaking through here. Well, they're just flooding through here. Holy crudderinos. But that's unfortunately all the time for that we have today, my friends. This is not going very well for us, but we will fight the good fight. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And maybe we'll do really well against them tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good, great rest of your day.